So it's me, it's me. I'm back here again for the um, review of um, the, re the, re the review of um, the presidential debates. And you see, that's why it's always good to sort of like view this through your own lens and not look at social media or things like 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 that. Um, so I wanna because people are saying Clinton won that debate. That's what people are saying. I don't know. Clinton trounced him. I was even speaking to some people today, and they said, "No, Clinton, one hundred percent. She trounced him. It was a walkover and everything." And that's not what I saw. Basically, because basically, I don't think that the key thing is did the performance from each candidate win over any undecideds. I don't think it did. Hillary is still boring, still monotonous, still robotic, but she still seems like if she knows what she's saying. Trump. I'm not sure what he's really saying, but he's far more engaging, far more interesting, far more exciting. And that's what it was, you know, because now maybe you say that, you know, Trump looked a bit ruffled and he, he seemed a, a, a bit open and a bit more animated. And, you know, Hillary was seemed a bit more control, more control. But then there's a flip side to, to that. You may say that Hillary was in much more control, but she just came across as boring. Whereas, like, you could say, oh, no, Trump looked frosted and looked too animated, but maybe look like if he actually cared more because I saw a lot more passion and a lot more fire in Trump than I, don't, than I did for Hillary. And it seemed more as if Hillary was the sitting president and she was just trying to put in an argument of four more years rather than the start of four years. You know, because Trump just seemed, obviously he was obviously the aggressor, but he just seemed a lot more into it. And I think for Hillary, I didn't really see that from her. But again, is that really her game? You know, is that really her game? But the one, because obviously there's so many things to come out and it's very hard to say, okay, which one stuck out. Um, but obviously the one thing that obviously stuck out for me is when Trump mentioned Chicago. That's just one thing that, that stuck out for me. And the reason why I say that is he made a point because the, the main thing was that, okay, Obama, you're from Chicago. Okay, I'm not saying that you should be biased towards one sentence because you're the president of the United States, but still, you're a human being. You're from Chicago. That's the place that you were a senator or a governor of. And the amount of deaths in Chicago have been crazy. They've even made a film about it because it has been so much death in that place. So, it's crazy that you wouldn't even do more to retry and um, sort out that problem. Because... Obama hasn't really said, okay, you know what, I'm going to go to Chicago. I'm going to really address this fully of what is happening in Chicago because it's, it's crazy. But the thing that Trump made the point that that happened under Obama's watch and also the whole stop and, and frisk. Because the thick thing is that okay, he said stop and frisk. Then people said, oh, no, that is unconstitutional. That is racial profiling. But then, you, Hillary, you say that, but then what's, what's the answer to that? Okay, fair enough. Racial profiling, it's, it's wrong, and I can understand that. Then what is your solution? You can't just say it's wrong, but you offer no solution to it, you know? So that's why, because watching it, and I think, um, I don't know who it was. I think, yeah, it was this um, guy, that I think basically um, John Campea from Collider. If any of you watch Collider video, like a movie um, re review site, he was saying, look, man, it's, typ it's typical politicians. They don't actually really say anything because... For him, okay, Trump, look, he's, a, he's just a guy. He's a new guy. That's even why I was tuning, tuning in because Trump is just, he, he literally is just a guy from, from, from the road. But Hillary, you're the politician. I didn't really get any answers from you. You didn't offer any substance. And I think people saying that she, she won are people who just hate Trump and have painted Trump as this racist, this rude person. And, you know, Hillary is, is, is a good person trying to put him down and all that kind of stuff. But... Forget Trump for a minute. Let's focus on Hillary. What did you actually say? Because all he said was just political stuff. There was nothing as, okay, that's interesting of you would do this in this certain way. There was nothing that you would do. But I just think that that's why it's, I'd, I'd, I'd put this as a draw. You know, it was obviously a football match. I thought it was maybe like as a 2-2 draw. Like, I don't, there, were, there was not a knockout blow because Trump, Got Hillary on a few things, bringing up the emails, you know, trying to 
um, of, 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 of settled with like obviously how she's feeling the, the whole health thing. And obviously Hillary was trying to get at Trump for like those tax returns and everything. But overall, I didn't see any knockout blow. And but the, the, the thing that people need to realize is that you know, don't trust the media. Don't tr- I mean, because the media 100% are for Hillary, because Trump has already said that I don't want to be with the media. And also, with the media being most leftist, you know, they are not going to side with whatever Trump is saying. But my whole view is that this, and I, and I think I said this in my, pretty much of, of the, the debates, say whatever you want with Trump. As I said again, I couldn't give a damn whether Hillary is the first female nominee or the first female president. That's irrelevant to me. The greater story is what Trump has done. Trump, this is already a victory for, for Trump. You can say some of the stuff he said is crazy, racist, sexist, homophobic, all that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, let's just be objective. This guy started being a politician early this year. And this guy is within a fighting chance. Because I, from 100%, Hillary will win the presidency. I, can, I will guarantee you that. I just think he'll win. The only way Trump can win his presidency is if something happens to Hillary, like health-wise, or he steals the ele- election. As in, if it's legal, even if elections are not even really re- illegal, I just 100%, I can almost guarantee you, Hillary will win this. Too much stuff is against him, and I think, unfortunately, which is why I mentioned the media, the media influences people. Most people are sheep, and most people will buy into what, what the media are selling. And for people like the New York Times and CNN to pretty much openly say they support Hillary and are denouncing Trump, that's going to play into the undecideds. And the undecideds, these guys, they watch TV, they listen to these news anchors, and they are influenced by what the media says. Don't, you know, don't overestimate the intelligence, you know, of people. You know, that's, that's, just, that's just, just a big, big fact. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought, no, look, the debate, it was, it was worth it. It was exciting. I cannot wait for the second one, which I believe is October 9th. Um... And going into the next one, I just think, you know, for Trump, he needs to obviously be a bit more calm, but he needs to throw it all out. Bring in Bill Clinton. Bring in the family. Because he said, okay, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't want to go personal. Trump, I believe that you're, you're, you're losing. You might as well. Bring in, just take off the gloves. Go use your knock, knuckles. Dip your knuckles into, like, broken glass and just go, go at it. Bring in Bill Clinton. Bring in Monica Lewinsky. Bring in everything. Bring in everything. And for Hillary Clinton, more passion. You need to bring in more passion within you. You need to gain much more of a personality. But obviously, I just think with Hillary, you, you don't want to be too much because I think, think you're still in a good position and you're still winning this race and people are still on your side. So you just need to make sure that you do not fall into Trump's trap because Trump has to come out at it. You know, Hillary is now playing the defensive counterattack. Trump has to have the ball and really aggressively attack and try and prod, prod Hillary till, till he basically breaks up something that can then bring the undecided on his hand. But overall, man, I personally cannot wait for the next debate. Oh, that rhymed. Peace out. <laughs>